Hey guys, welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. This week's postpartum workout is abs and booty. And not only is this great for toning and flattening, but we're really gonna work on functional movement, healing our core and our pelvic floor while adding in glute and booty exercises. The exercises are gonna be safe if you have diastasis recti or if you're healing after a C-section, but of course, check with your doctor, get clearance before you start exercising, listen to your body, and also watch your stomach and make sure you're not getting any coning or doming during any of the moves. All of the moves today are low impact or apartment friendly, and you don't need any equipment except for a mat or a comfortable floor to get down on. We're actually gonna do most of the exercises on the ground, but for the first set, we're gonna come up to standing. We can place our feet wide apart for sumo squats. You can place your hands on your hips. You should be able to feel it tight inside your bony hip bone. And we'll plie down and up. Core is engaged, lower belly pulling in, squeezing your glutes and your legs at the top. Moving slowly with control. Good, we'll do one more. Squeeze. And now we'll come down into a squat. We're going to take one hand up to behind our head, engaging our core. We can release to the side using our obliques and our core. Exhale, pull ourselves back up. If it helps, you can keep your hand on your core. Inhale over, exhale up. Last one, good, let's come up, release. We'll get ready for the other side. Squat down, inhale over. Moving with your breath. Last one, good, come up, let's shake it out. And now we're gonna get down on the ground. We can get down on our side, engaging our core, and then rolling over onto our back, pulling your heels in. We'll place our hands on our lower belly. We'll do a couple of core breathing exercises with some Kegels or pelvic floor exercises. Let's relax as we inhale. And on the exhale, we're going to pull in our lower belly as if the two sides are pulling together. You can also add a Kegel by picturing a blueberry at the opening of your vagina. And as we exhale, we're going to pull the blueberry up as we Kegel. And then inhale, we're gonna relax everything with control. And contract Kegel. Inhale, relax. Again, contract Kegel. It may look like a small movement, but if you're doing it correctly, you should really feel it. Inhale, relax. Exhale, pulling your lower belly in tight, Kegel. should feel tense right there on the inside of your hip bone. Relax. Exhale, contract. Release. Good. We'll do some bridge. We can take our hands down beside us. And if you wanted to add a Kegel here, we can Kegel 
activating our glutes as we push up lower belly is pulling in rolling down moving with your breath exhale kegel engage up inhale release down again exhale engage up inhale release i'll let you move with your own breath last one release down good from here we're going to pop our heels off and we're going to turn our knees out a little bit bringing our heels together and then we will you can walk your toes in a little bit and then we'll activate our glutes again core is engaged and pushing up and down heels are staying off Squeezing your glutes at the top. Let's do one more. Release down and bring your knees in, rock back and forth. Engaging your core, let's roll over safely on our side. We're gonna come in to a modified side plank on our knees you can straighten out one leg belly is pulling in let's reach one arm up and we're going to do a hip dip and bring our arm down and up core's engaged Last one, good. We can release down to do clamshells. We can get all the way down, supporting your head with your hand here. Let's bring our knees together, pulling in your lower belly, engaging and opening up here, moving up and down. Good, we'll do two more here. Release, shake it out. You have a couple of different options here. If you have diastasis recti or you're just starting exercise after a C-section, you can keep your hip down here. We're gonna take our knee up and lift. If you are farther along and you're not getting any coning, you can come into a modified plank here on your knee and your elbow and engaging your lower belly, pulling it in. Exhale, bringing your knee up, then we'll lift our leg to the side. With control. Good. 
last one. Good, release down. Let's roll over or change over to the other side. We can set up for a modified plank on this side, straightening our top leg, reaching up, hip dip down. Belly is pulling in. One more. Good. Release down. Pulling in your lower belly, lifting up and down clamshells. One more here, good. You can either leave your hip down or coming into a modified plank. It helps to have your lower hand on your belly and knee up, engaging, making sure you're not getting any coning, lift. Good release down. Let's take a short water break before our last set and then I will meet you on all fours. Let's have shoulders over wrists and hips over knees. We're going to engage and draw in our lower belly to our spine. We have a couple of different options here. We can either lift our knees off and hold, or if you have diastasis recti and this is causing coning, you're going to have the feeling of pressing your knees into the floor while you engage. And we'll hold either way for five, four, three, two, one, release. One more time, engage, exhale, hold, five, four, three, two, one, release. Good. We can take our knees together and lift one leg up behind us using your glute lower belly is engaged and pulling in and then we're going to cross it over and drop it down on the other side using all the muscles of our legs lifting it up moving with control back to all fours breathing into your ribs keeping your core engaged points up towards the ceiling. You may feel your inner thigh as you cross it over. One last time here.
good. Let's take it straight back. Core is engaged, pulse here. Lower belly pulling in. Good. Let's come down on to your elbow opposite the leg that's up. We can tilt to the side. And now we're going to lift to really work the side booty there. Doing great, couple more. Good, release down. Let's stretch out that side. Good. We'll do that on the other side. We'll start with our knee lifts or pushing our knees into the floor. Engage, lift, five, four, three, two, one. Release, deep breath. And again, engaging lower belly. Five, four, three, two, one. Release, bringing your knees together. We'll lift the other leg up behind this time. Everything is tight and engaged, moving with control. Last one on the side. Good, lengthen out, pulse. Lower belly still pulling in. Good, dropping your opposite. Elbow down, opening up your hips, lifting, core is engaged. Last one. Good, release down, let's stretch out on the other side. Deep breaths. Good, you did amazing, we're done the workout portion. We're gonna stretch it out. You can tuck your toes, come into downward dog, walk your heels out. A nice stretch through the backs of the legs. Take any movement that feels good. Coming back to your knees, we can come up. We'll take a lunge here, tucking your tailbone under for a deeper stretch through there. Switch sides, coming back. Lunging deeply, tucking your tailbone under. Good, 
one more breath here pushing into your front foot shifting your weight back let's come to a wide leg forward fold feet are flexed just as far as feels good you can stay sitting up tall or lean forward for a deeper stretch Walking your hands in, coming up. Let's pull our feet in to a comfortable seated position. We are done at the workout portion. You did amazing. Thank you so much for joining me. I'd love to know what you thought of that class in the comments below. I will of course keep making postpartum videos every week. If you like videos like these and to support me, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up and share it with another mom friend or mom community that you think would enjoy it. I also have lots of free resources for postpartum moms that you can go down to the description box and grab. I have a postpartum monthly workout plan where you get a new workout for every day of the month. A complete guide on how I healed my four finger diastasis recti gap after my pregnancy. A weight management course that I put together as a registered dietitian and bariatric educator that focuses on behavior change and brain science of weight management.